Okay, so this, uh, uh, this chapter is um, uh, basically about uh, the um, so advanced uh, time series modeling. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is uh, the case when uh, um, there's a like, a, more um, so complexity uh, within the seasonality. Mm -hmm. In particular, yep. uh, the they mentioned um, weekly patterns, so the mm, or annual patterns, or daily and weekly and annual. So that they are not exactly um, uh, what. Um, um, we so for example if we are talking about weekly patterns so it might happen that they are not always uh, uh, integers so we might um, encounter the case when uh, we have a fractions of um, uh, so th those things so now um, uh, I need a bit of time to load mm -hmm. uh, the things, but uh, because apparently with this, and um, And so, okay. Uh, can you maybe um, suggest that? Let's see if I can open this up. I was able to, to do it earlier. Mm -hmm. So I should be able to do it again. If this computer is a bit like okay, can you just uh, maybe share the um, the the chapter? Okay, let me. Because I, I need to remove my computer. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, why I did not share the screen? Okay, um, I, I am now, uh, I think I'm able to share. The you, can, you can do it? Yeah. I don't understand why I did not. Uh... Okay, maybe, maybe.
I cannot share my screen. No? Okay. Maybe I can maybe I can share mine. I don't know why. Okay, so basically what um, I'm not even seeing your screen for this computer. Okay, that's okay. So basically what, what we are going to uh, have a look at is basically these things and we, um, uh, as I mentioned, we have, uh, um, This is a very, uh, so basically um, the daily data uh, can be like uh, divided in weekly patterns. Uh, and so, for example, as I mentioned, also oh, the things that we uh, need to think about is like, for example, that uh, we might encounter the case when uh, 365.25 is divided by seven. So a, a weekly pattern. Uh, it's basically a number which is not an entire number. So it's like 52 and something, no? Uh, and so for this, uh, for this reason, we might need something like uh, uh, a bit of adjustments on our models to be able to catch this uh, um, infra patterns, okay? And this can happen uh, as well if we have hourly data uh in case uh, uh that uh, for uh okay so let me see if i can uh, div uh share my screen sorry about that i'm really sorry okay let me see if i can share my screen yes okay sorry about that okay so this is um, uh, what I was mentioning. So the, com uh, the complexity can be daily data or hourly data. And um, okay. yeah, uh, and so uh, the first thing that we are going to see is basically a case study, uh, and uh, it's um, about the North American Commercial Bank. Uh, and so they consider the number of calls for each five minutes interval between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Okay, so 9.05 9, uh, oh uh, p.m. exactly, okay. Each weekday over 33 week period. So in this case, uh, for example, the first thing that you uh, point out is that uh, we don't have uh, uh, an, an, an entire year, okay? So we are talking about, we have a fraction of year and then times uh, by, uh, so 169 times by five. So uh, we have a pattern of uh, 845. So this case, basically, it, and if we have a, a quick look at um, this data, okay, you can see,
Okay, so uh, was okay. So basically, if we have a quick look at the data, Is apparently busy doing something else. Okay. Okay, so we can see that we have this the date, time, and course, so the number of course. Okay, so as I said, uh, we have um, this um, uh, uh, 845 seasonal patterns. Okay, to, to consider. And if we uh, have uh, uh, we, we use this function field field gap and then uh, um, uh, plot uh, the time series, we can see that basically what is this uh, um, darker uh, part show us what 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 is actually happening, okay? Uh, why these are the parts are the, the parts that have been uh, added basically and so uh, we we already this uh, we can uh, add Uh, variable name t okay and then update the table with this with this t as an index um, you now see that uh, we have uh, um, continuity uh, of the day time so we know that this t works as a period so we know that each one of these t uh, would be uh, considered as a uh, time index. Okay, and then at this point, we can uh, use uh, the um, time decomposition. Uh, we need to do a bit like work around on the uh, number of calls because if they are sometimes very large numbers, sometimes very small. So if we square root the, the vector, we can uh, like homogenize them a bit. Uh, and then uh, uh, we do this across a season uh, period of 169. So we break down uh, and, and then uh, see what's happened. And then we, we, we see, uh, uh, the same thing on the entire period. So it's like um, looking at uh, the um, entire period and then at, at, at the fraction, the exact uh, fraction. And then we add this robust group. Okay, so this is uh, basically the, the model. We can see. Um, Yes. Uh, the... Federica, uh, just a comment. Yeah. 
yeah. uh, the 169 uh, represents the daily the daily uh, seasonality. Okay, yeah. because we have for a five minute interval, right, which is our our chunk of time that we are recording recording the calls, and we're operating not 24 hours, but we're operating for seven to nine or five. Uh -huh. So you're going to get from seven to nine, if you multiply 12, right? The 12 five, five minute uh, intervals by 14, 14 hours plus one, because we're going mm -hmm. nine or five, uh, we get 169. So 169 represents uh, okay, yes. the daily, the daily uh, period, okay? and. And that's the daily seasonality. Then we multiply by five, that number, 169 by five, to get the weekly period, to get the weekly seasonality. So you can have the daily and the weekly at the same time. Yes. Yeah. Okay? In yeah, in fact, this is, in fact, yes. Uh, this is, in fact, the, uh, the case for when uh, the, the year is not exactly 365, but it, it's a fraction Yeah, because we, 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 don't have, we don't have the year. We only have yeah. 33 weeks, okay? Exactly. For the year, we need at least 52 weeks. So we don't have, we don't have the year, so we're not, we're, we're not uh, doing that, okay? But we're doing the daily and the weekly, which is the one that is driving this, you know, that, this time yeah. series. So let's go back to. Yeah, you, you had it right. 169. 169 by five. This time the composition. The composition. We can catch seasonality if there's any. Okay, more easily. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, the third and the last uh, um, uh, facet shows there is something um, uh, so we can see that, that there is some seasonality, some repeating pattern. Okay, instead of the, the trend, so here in the season, and even in the reminder, uh, there is a part which is uh, a bit of like, uh, especially at the, 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 the initial, uh, uh, then uh, at the end, and then is that right? No? Yeah, there is a bit of uh, so this decomposition model can even use, uh, uh, as I said, we use this uh, uh, decomposition model, uh, uh, can be even uh, used to, because now, so we have model of this one here, but then we want to forecast and see, okay, what happens. Uh, and so we we use the, the ES, ETS model um, just on the season. And, um, and so, to forecast, we need to basically add. This is not exactly, exactly very clear. Yes. Okay. I make a de decomposition, yeah. and but then I need exponential to. Yeah, forecast. because the 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 STL is capturing the seasonality, so the okay. ETS. What is going to capture is the error component and 
if okay. there's any trend. So you turn off the seasonality so so that the STL you know, uh, command is the one that is capturing the seasonality, okay? So you, you are mixing here. You are using the STL for the seasonality and then adding the ETS, but only for the error and the trend, okay? Uh, and so uh, this is the model. Now I have made a decomposition model, adding STL and ETS. This is on uh, season adjust. So. This is my decomposition specification of the model. And then I call this model with the model function and make it the product. If I just have a quick look at this uh, model. Uh, and then it specifies then I can run the forecast. The forecast, the forecast is basically on five times hundred and sixty nine. Yeah, you're forecasting five days. Which is okay, because it's five by each of the intervals per day. So it's five days that you are forecasting here. Okay, this is uh, if I add new data and I want to check for the um, for the forecast of what's happening. So basically, this is October 20th. So when I do hundred and sixty nine, Okay, so if I can, can you hear me? So I yes, I can hear. Okay, so I have five minutes call, right? So if I do um. So it's times hundred and sixty nine. I have eight hundred and forty five. But yeah, that that's the number of five minutes intervals that you have uh, during a week. Okay, because you're multiplying that by five. 169 by five, okay? So that's the whole week that you're going to forecast ahead. Uh, 
in fact, five minutes over the 33 week period. Okay. So, um, because this is okay, there are 165, 69, and then five minutes interval per day. So, mm -hmm. there are 169 five minute intervals. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yep. uh, That, that's really your period. The five minute interval, that's your period. Okay. You have 169, which is by day. And then you have to multiply by five to get the weekly. You know, the, 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 the weekly, uh, the weekly uh, periods. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, basically, this uh, uh, leads us to. Uh, about five days. And then uh, if we have a look at new data, mm -hmm. okay, so these are- uh, uh, you're, you're constructing yes. your future, your future uh, data set. Okay, so you're going to construct that to insert that forecast. So then we can, you can plot it. Yeah. Uh, these are uh, the number of calls each five minutes. Uh, yeah, that's the new that's the new uh, data set, the new data that you're going to insert the forecast because you have to create that period. Those five five minute intervals, you have to create it, you know, to insert those forecasts into that data set. Exactly, okay. Yeah, that, that, that is absolutely, uh, okay. It's clear that, uh, so this is, these are uh, minutes. Uh, yeah. 60 minutes per hour. These are hours and these are seven days. Mm -hmm. uh, per week. And you have to divide by five because your period is, is five minutes. minutes. Okay, so you're converting everything into minutes and then divide it by five. Okay. Where are the uh, is it um, you arrange then? Well, anyway, uh, so this is uh, basically, uh, if I look at the, the last, uh, so this is uh, uh, October, okay. So this is uh, 28, and this is October 31. So this is uh, basically uh, the last thing. has been uh, data. Um, assign this to 
and then Uh, within uh, the data and frame. to a stable object. And so we can uh, basically uh, design frame the distribution. So now we can fill the gap and then all the blocks for this being. But then that is apparently increasing. Uh, two. This is the. If we um, now, as we have this issue, Um, apply to uh, move Lima error structure. So basically, our calls will be uh, fitting a model, uh, we, we call it DHR. Harmonic regression, and this will be a Rima So we basically transform use the Fourier function the period, and there are a, a specify a k value and a period. So the k. Yeah, uh, it, this uh, this values um, I mentioned. Okay, so this is uh, what's up uh, for the. Yeah, the, the the reason why we're adding those Fourier series is that Arima. Uh, has a constraint that it only can take one seasonality. Okay, the real model only uh, can the parameter of the seasonality can be only one. So it's it's constrained to to have a single seas seasonality because here we have multiple seasonality. We have daily and we have weekly. Then we're turning off that parameter of the seasonality of the Rima. And then we're going to add uh, two Fourier series, okay? Which are the daily with K10 and the weekly with K5, okay? So we can capture all that multiple seasonality within the Arima, the Arima model, okay? So it's a it's it's it's, uh, it's kind of a hack, okay? You know to uh, allow Arima to incorporate more than one seasonality. Mm -hmm. 
and, and, it, and it does pretty well. Okay, in the forecast, you see that the if you compare with the last one, the confidence intervals are a little bit tighter. Okay, for, for that rebirth. The negative part is that this model is very complex. Okay, you know, because it has a lot of components uh, because of those Fourier uh, time series. Yeah, it's a bit like editing. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's a big, it's a, it's a big, it's a very big model. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you are going to put in production, you probably will have some headaches here. <laughs> Yeah, it takes a Yeah, it takes a while. I, I, yeah, I run it before it a while, the then... start of the session and it uh, and it takes a while to run. Uh but even more the the following, the other one that the uh the for the yeah, um Yeah, it's telling you that so, those parameters are forced to zero to let the Fourier series handle the seasonality. But this, uh, um, yeah. Okay. Oh. So, He studied. the same for Melbourne. Uh, plus the um the literature for me. And the temperature on the same plot. You can see the clean that and if we do a The work day, uh, the holidays, uh, and the uh, Maybe, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, now, okay. now I can hear you. Yes. Now. Okay, I take my.
Okay, uh, let's go forward and see that we have uh, um, on the electricity demand, we can uh, basically apply the ARIMA uh, and um, with the Courier. Uh, pay specification for day, week, and the year. Okay. In this case, we are, we use k k equals to ten for the day, five for the week, and three for the year. And this is because we like to basically it is a, something that is um, uh, it's important to uh, to specify. Okay. So. Uh, and uh, it says uh, mm, that this, um, what is this uh, specification? Do you do you have something to add about the K parameter uh, in the within the Fourier uh, function? Uh, no, uh, in fact, you know, comparing with the with the the calls, the bank calls, uh, is this is uh, mostly the same uh, uh, series that we're adding. Uh, the day we're getting the, the k equal to ten, fix it to ten, and the k and the weekly uh, fix it fix the k to to five. The only thing that we're adding here is the uh, extra regressors. You know the temperature, the cooling, and the workday, which we didn't have in the in the calls. And then because it this spans more than one year then we have to consider the year seasonality. And that's why we are adding another full year series for the year with K equal to three. Okay, but uh, if you compare the models, it's, it's, uh, the, the, the models are, are almost the same. The only thing that we're adding, adding more, uh, more regressors uh, to the real model. Yeah, yeah, this, this is fine, but uh, um, it, it, it looks like even understandable. Uh, the fact that we need to specify that these are zero. Right. Yeah, because since you are using Fourier to handle the seasonality, then you cannot allow Arima, you know, to uh, you know to to try to calculate the seasonality. You are given it already. Okay, so that's why you are just using the arima for the errors. Okay, because that, that there is no trend, there is no uh, a differencing. Okay, and and the and the ma the big ma you are turning it to zero two. The only thing that is the arima is doing is giving you the errors, the small errors in the in the in the small in the small queue, the small queue. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, and so then we see what's happened within two times 48 periods uh, with new data, assigned as the new data. Right. Uh, and so as well, we uh, set the temperature, the date, and the working day. Uh, and we forecast on new data. Uh, and we can see that the, uh, basically the forecast is a bit like um yeah yeah you, we are forecasting for two for two days okay yeah. and since we have 30 minutes intervals right uh within a 24 hour period within a 24 hour period you can do the calculation is it going to give you two days uh -huh. yeah so two days uh, 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 uh from from the end from the end of the of, of the time yeah. series Okay, so the electricity demand is uh, basically the same as the, uh, the 
the increase in the span from above to the beginning of the program. Okay, so yeah, makes sense, of course. Uh, one, one comment from the authors is that when they did the residual diagnostics, uh, you see that the lags, that the lags, mo most of them are significant. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, in fact, the the exactly. ACF, they should be within those blue dollar lines. Yeah. And you see there's a lot of lags that are significant. So that means that the model is not capturing uh, that information. Exactly. So one of the things that they, that they did is that they apparently did more, more study, more research in, in this. And they say that you should refer to those articles uh, to get yes. more, yeah, yeah. A, a better model. But they also uh, applied uh, other models. And this is uh, the, the, the process model, which mm -hmm. is uh, something that is, has been like introduced by Facebook uh, as yep. Jay Taylor and Beaton in uh, 2018 and was um, originally for forecasting daily data with weekly and yearly seasonality plus holiday effect. Okay, so this is uh, basically profit is uh, um, uh, either for, for this uh, type of catching, be able to uh, catch this type of uh, uh, patterns, okay, with that they contain, uh, which is so that they, they, they are not such as uh, regular patterns. Okay, so profit is, for example, used mostly within the insurance uh, company to uh, forecast um, uh, loss uh, within um, future time frames. Okay, and uh, uh, it is a quite robust type of model and I, I don't there they, is a possibility to apply profit in R of course okay so going to the Facebook page and uh, it's a quite interesting and even even if a good good uh, uh, resource so you can you can uh, apply the, the function by following the, the structure but uh, this this um, addition, for example, there is not on tidy model, just to mention something. Um, and so the, the, the other here said that um, has been this, this addition of profit on uh, at PP3 has been a, a like sort of request. So they made it uh, uh, this new package table dot profit. So if you want to use uh, profit, you need to install this package. And then they basically profit, what does is breaking down, okay, as we usually, so we, we, we did it as now, uh, the, the time series into parts, okay? So the, there is a, a, a piecewise linear trend, which is this, the first part, this GT, then we have uh, uh, seasonal patterns with SP. Uh, we have holiday effect and then the the, the, the normal. Okay, so uh, even here the uh, Fourier part it's it's uh, quite relevant uh, and for uh, applied uh, in particular to uh, those periods which are not regular. Okay. And um, uh, what else? You know, uh, most importantly, it's basically a Bayesian approach. Consider the probability um, of the changing point. Uh, if we have a quick look, I'm, I'm not, I've done the, I've got that into R, but apparently it took uh, a bit for, uh, running everything on my on this own computer, so uh, I like to uh, do that. So we just have a, a quick look that if we we are still uh, again on the Australia Australia production uh, data set, 
and so we have, I don't know if you remember, uh, we have uh, Porter uh, and, and the, this, the production of cement on this data set. And so we can, the, the model, uh, after a bit of uh, like wrangling the time, uh, the Porter to uh, 1988 or 2007, uh, we have this ERIMA and this uh, EPS, so this exponential uh, smoothing uh, model, and then finally the process. So they compare the result of the history. In this case, the process is applied on season, period four, order two, and type multiplicative. Okay, that, 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 that would be a unity try. Uh, let's see, this case is multiplicative. Uh, and so you can see what is the difference between the uh, visually, what is the difference between the three uh, type of models. So the exponential smoothie and the profit are quite similar, while the ARIMA is a bit optimistic, I say. Uh, and what else? Uh, uh, here we can see a better substitution of the accuracy. And so profit forecast are worse uh, than uh, both of the other uh, model. So what is the uh, RNC uh, for profit is the uh, is highest than the other two. Yeah. Mm. Not so bad. But anyway, so if you apply um, uh, on the electricity, that's going back to where we were. So we apply profits now with the same specifications. So 10, 10 days, um, five days a week. Yeah. So then three years. Okay. So we see the components of the day. The last two uh, shows the additive terms. We can see that this is more additive than multiplicative. Uh, and so let's go back to the residuals. And in fact, we see that this is your size. Even if uh, the residuals are behaving normally, we have a, a, a quite uh, large to, to identify. Uh, and so uh, on new data, uh, doing a bit of like a forecast, it, it is able to catch, because visually you can see that exactly they is catching, okay, the trends of it. But uh, um, it says that it's faster, and this is something, um, but uh, in terms of forecasting accuracy, so the metric says that it is not doing a good job, but um, in terms of um, uh, so sometimes it, it, it's faster. Uh, it's not said. so in terms of metric, uh, apparently it's worse than the other. But this is what I think I'm, I'm going to stop sharing uh, because um, as you can see me, uh, the, the second part.